Hi there, welcome to the MIU webinar series. This week we are talking about cinematic arts and new media. And as you know, it is a big field. You know, whether you wanna work in TV and film or you're looking at uh, marketing and many companies are now doing in-house influencer marketing is huge. You're looking at all kinds of videos on all different platforms from OTT, well, we'll talk about all these things okay how about i just start the webinar and you can learn all about it we have industry experts with us we have students with us let me just tell you a little bit about uh what we're going to do today so today of course we are going to talk about how you can either study on campus or online with miu and we are focused on consciousness-based education so the things that make us different are we really are a campus with heart our campus has been focused on meditation for 50 years we're celebrating our jubilee and i know uh, meditation is a big deal uh, on a lot of college campuses lately but we at miu have been uh, having all of our students and faculty learn and practice transcendental meditation for years and we'll talk more about why that is important the science behind it in fact over 600 studies about tm and how it can help to make you more creative uh, and maybe more engaged at work and make life just a little bit easier we focus on learning more with less stress so if you come to campus you're going to see that we have a vegetarian uh, and locally sourced a lot of times lunchroom, but either way, we have very healthy options for you and organic options. The city of Fairfield has lots of vegan, um, different eclectic flavors, so we'll talk about that. And again, we're going to talk about what your uh, professors are like and why MIU just might be a fit for you. We will talk about our BA in Cinematic Arts and New Media, what the classes are, who the instructors are. You can do that on campus. You can do it online, or we actually have a hybrid option. And we have Jordan with us who actually started online and then came on campus. And part of the reason that you could uh, switch back and forth is because we use the block system. And we'll explain what that is in just a little bit. There's also a, kind of a, a fast track if you're a, a transfer student, or maybe you want to bring in some credits or uh, just do a specialization in cinematic arts and new media, and also get a BA degree. We'll talk about how you can do that as well. Amin is here with us. He's the department chair. He's an instructor. He works in this industry, and uh, he's going to be able to tell you all about the experience at MIU as well as what you'll learn. We have some cur current students with us, but we want to tell you about uh, some of the things that our uh, graduates are doing, what they're doing in the industry. So uh, you see a few of our students in those pictures, but you'll also meet a couple of students, and Amin is going to tell you about what people are doing. And we also have Evan with us and he is a part of the program as well. David Lynch knows all about MIU. In fact, uh, Evan and Amin have both gone through our screenwriting program and, uh, and Amin will talk more about this as will Evan. Um, well, actually all of us, why meditation might be just a really great addition to what you're doing creatively. And we have our director of admissions with us. James is behind the scenes. Now he's going to answer your Q&A questions. So at the bottom of your screen, the Q&A is open. We have closed the chat because we'll use the Q&A and you can ask your questions there. If you have specific questions, uh, James can help you. If you want to ask anonymously, you surely can. If somehow we don't get to your question by the end of the webinar, we do keep these questions and we can and will reach out to you after the webinar. I'm also going to give you some contact information so that you can reach out to us if you have more questions after this. We do make it easy to get started because we are an accredited university. We are accredited by the Higher Learning Commission, meaning you can use federal student aid. So you can pay your tuition with those federal student loans. Um, generally, uh, low interest federal loans are available and they will generally help you with your tuition. Uh, in some cases, housing, housing and meals and sometimes cash for expenses. So let's get started. We uh, our, our slogan kind of with this program is meditate and create, but you'll learn why. This is our BA in Cinematic Arts and New Media, and we're just going to turn it over to the expert. I mean, um, I, I know you are just, I think, so connected with these students and this program. I want to just first welcome you. Thanks for taking some time out and just turn it over to you to tell us about the program. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thanks, Sean, for that wonderful introduction. So uh, here we are Saturday afternoon, hanging out 
learn a little bit about the program. So I'll start with this first thing, which is meditate and create. What does that mean? And why is that our slogan? Meditate because all of our students practice transcendental meditation and as a really powerful tool for exploring your inner world and also exploring that source of creativity within each of us, that unlimited ocean of creativity within each of us and kind of like meditate and get in touch with that so that we can bring it into activity. And then create is because our pro pro program is fully project-based. Any class that you take within the cinematic arts and new media department is going to be project-based. What does that mean? You're going to work on a project on each class. You learn knowledge, but you learn it by doing it. So meditate and create 200% of life. You explore your inner world, tap into creativity, and then you just actually do the stuff. And, you know, and at the end of the, each class, you end up with like portfolio pieces. You end up with like, you know, if you've taken documentary film, you end up with a short documentary. If you've taken cinematography, you end up with some cinematography, uh, you know, like sh short films. If you take digital arts, you end up with digital arts assets. If you do social media marketing, you're helping a business or you're helping your own work. So each class has a, this uh, project-based outcome to it. I love it. And we will put um, some of the classes up. I actually want to bring in our students right now at the top and we're going to come back and talk with them more, but I just want to let you know who's here so that you know what's coming. Um, so I will start uh, first with Jordan. Uh, Jordan, we'll do a more in-depth interview with you later. We'll ask you more questions, but can you just tell us a little bit about how you found MIU? And uh, again, thanks for hanging out with us today. We really value your time and we're glad you're here. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, so I would say finding MIU was definitely an interesting path for me just because I started off at a previous undergrad university studying psychology. And just because I wanted to kind of explore that aspect of learning more about consciousness. Um, and then the pandemic happened. So I was um, studying that online. And I just felt like I wanted more. The consciousness aspect wasn't really explored the way I wanted it to be in like a more traditional university setting. So um, when I found the advertising for MIU online, and uh, that it was mostly conscious, consciousness based education, um, that just really got me interested. So I ended up uh, studying consciousness online. That's what first brought me here. And um, the online program gave me like that, that flexibility to be able to study that and actually travel at the same time, um, which felt like a dream when I first saw that that idea was that that was possible for me. So that's uh, what got me here. <laughs> we can't wait to hear more about what happened after that and what your plans are. And uh, again, speaking of travel, I want to introduce Catherine because Catherine, you've done a little bit of travel associated with your project. Um, and I know Amin spoke about this being a project-based, each thing is project-based, but you're a senior. So can you just give us a, a quick idea of how you got here, a little snippet about your project, and then we'll come back and ask you more questions in a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me. Uh, I found MIU, like Jordan, through a winding path. Um, I was at a, a traditional university in my early 20s, and it wasn't right for me. I took off and actually um, went to travel uh, overseas, worked on some farms, had a really unconventional 10 years. And then uh, when it was time to kind of reconsider uh, you know, what was next, um, MIU was, had always kind of been in the back of my mind. I'd explored it early uh, in my 20s. And um, yeah, I, I dove into the program uh, in, the, in a different route than cinematic arts and new media. I was in the traditional BA program and I took cinematography as an elective with Amin. And that was a huge turning point. Um, 
I kind of came into the program with whispers of threads of ideas that I wanted to explore, but I didn't really have the tools uh, to make that a reality. And by switching degrees and getting the one-on-one -on -one support um, from Amin and other professors in the department, um, I've yeah, formulated a lot of projects throughout a couple of years. And my senior project is a short documentary film about my family in Lebanon. Uh, and I just got back from a couple of weeks shooting there and really looking forward to putting that together uh, before graduation. Oh, and we can't wait to see it. And uh, again, uh, Evan is with us and we'll, Evan, we have some questions for you, but I know uh, we've had some questions pop up and Amin, I'd like to address some of these and have, have you um, lead us through. I know some of the classes are in our beautifully redesigned Weggy Center for the Arts. And let's start first with the BA in Cinematic Arts and New Media and kind of what, what that means. Um, I, I'm putting up a couple of the classes here because our students have mentioned some of the names, the art of story, power of social media marketing, cinematography. Uh, one of the questions that comes up uh, off the bat is, do students either online or on campus need equipment? How do they get equipment? And I know Evan might be involved with this. So I mean, if you and Evan want to handle this together, please do. I'll, I'll speak a little bit and then I'll hand it over to Evan. So it depends if you're studying, if you're an online student or if you're an on-campus student. If you're an online student, yes, you do have to you, uh, purchase your own gear and your own software. Uh, we mostly work with the Adobe software. So with the miu.edu email address, you get a discount uh, for your first year and then every year after that. And then as far as equipment goes, you know, we're very aware that you know, people don't have $10,000 laying around. <laughs> so we work with you, you know, to find the best gear that, uh, that will do the job, but also the best gear so that when you graduate, you're still able to use that same equipment, basically, and it will still be relevant at the cheapest price, basically. So we, and we work with different tiers of like how much money you have. If you have $500 for equipment, we can help you with that. If you have $1,000, we can help you with that. If you have 10,000, then, you know, maybe we'll make you a trustee or something. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, if you're on campus, on campus, it's a different story. On campus, we have a video studio, we have a sound studio, we have a photography studio a podcasting room, a YouTube room, a media lounge, um, brand new, you know, I, IMAX for your work, Apple IMAX, uh, we have cameras. So all you do on campus is you pay a $20 lap fee per class and that gives you access to, you know, all the tools that you need. And we train you with it. The downside and software included, but the downside to on campus, if there's a downside to that is that when you graduate, you don't have the gear and you haven't been trained into your own particular gear. Whereas online, you put that money a little bit up front, but at the end of the day, you're like, when you graduate, you're 100% ready to go. And both Catherine and Jordan started on uh, online. I mean, I'll, I'll have them speak a little bit, but maybe Evan can speak about the, uh, the studios and the, the equipment and things like that. Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, so equipment, we have quite a good selection. Uh, we have on the lowest end, we have a smartphone filmmaking class, actually, where you can use your phone to take photographs, and make movies. So you don't even have to worry so much about gear. If you're kind of person who's intimidated, you don't know much about cinema, you don't want to actually make big feature films. We have classes uh, for people who maybe want to do YouTube or TikTok or these like new kind of platforms for films and media. And then on the other side, we have equipment mastery. We have advanced cinematography where we have professional lenses that they would use on real film sets. And you can get kind of the whole experience. And we're also trying to incorporate, incorporate internships so that people can get like the real deal if they want to be in the film scene. And that's just for film um, and music. We also offer a variety of things on the basic level. We have a MIDI uh, digital music production course, creative songwriting, where you get to bring your own instruments and 
play whatever, sing whatever. And then on the other side, we have mixing and mastering, which is coming up very soon, where you get to get in depth with whatever you wanna learn. So it's really about what your art is and what you need. I feel online for sure, people um, are a little bit older in general, have some experience, they're not intimidated by equipment. They kind of know what they wanna do. And then here on campus, there's some younger students who have no idea and they walk in, we, we show them you know, the whole nine yards and then we let them play. I saw that there was a question about taking it off campus and we do allow you to uh, rent equipment and go off campus and film. Um, as long as you're not jumping in a volcano with it, we're, we're pretty cool. I, I think, you know, I don't know. This is one of the webinars where I'm going to pop in with my 107 years of life experience. Um, I am 107. Uh, but I have actually worked in this industry somehow consistently for 35 years. And I will tell you that it has evolved. It has changed um, in my undergrad in my 80s. Uh, I worked in the AV uh, lab at a Big Ten college and just started with cameras. My master's degree was in mass communications, TV and film. Um, I learned to edit uh, linearly, literally, where we were slicing film and taping it together, um, went through like Media 100, learned Final Cut, uh, Premiere, which now you're on the latest. And I think one of the things that I can say, and I've also worked on camera, um, I had the great honor of getting to work with a number one songwriter in Nashville and, you know, recording and doing some songwriting. So what I can say about what you get at MIU is you're getting a foundation that allows you to be flexible enough to grow and change with this industry. And I, I can feel really confident in telling you that things have evolved over the years and they're going to keep moving quickly. But if you get those basics down and one of those basics is be on time, take care of yourself, be healthy because we work crazy, long, sporadic hours with lots of travel in most of these industries. And I will tell you this webinar, these students were on time and uh, so if, you, if this is appealing to you, and I'm gonna turn it back over to our team, but just seeing what I'm seeing at MIU and having seen things all over the country, I've lived in New York, Los Angeles, um, I, I'm really having a good time and I hope you bring your questions forward because you really do have experts here. And, and whether you decide to join us at MIU or not, this is your chance to explore what is new media, what is happening right now? And I think, I mean, I'm gonna um, come back to you now that I've, kind of done my my whole little thing but Iowa actually has I mean one of the biggest films last year the screenwriting team <clears throat> came out of Iowa like we we have some really famous film pieces but also one of the biggest infomercial companies that ever existed was in Fairfield so can you just maybe talk about what former students are doing what the opportunities are that you're giving students and why it, it actually makes sense to come to Fairfield, Iowa, if you can. Well, um, I'll, I'll answer this, but I wanted to bring up, you know, Jordan, who's from New York City, and he, he started online and he just came to Fairfield from New York City to be at school. And my question for you, Jordan, it's like, you know, you're in New York City. It's like the, the cultural capital of the world. What are you finding in Fairfield? And Right. Um, so one thing I would say for sure is just the environment on campus. What brought me to campus was the online program is great. It offers like the flexibility. Um, if you're focusing on other things, like maybe another job or traveling. Um, but for me, I just wanted to get more of a interactive, collaborative environment on campus. Um, and that's really what I felt was right when I came here um, in search of something like that. And now I'm here and I definitely feel that um, just something as simple as actually having a recording studio on campus, like I'm in the digital music production course now and just like having that space I don't get that if I was at home you know um, and certainly not at the price of paying twenty dollars <laughs> for the lab fee to access it so um, yeah just that and also just coming into this as a beginner because for me like similar to Catherine's story I 
I just took cinematography as an elective and then just felt drawn and pulled into creating, meditating and creating. And um, so just coming into that space as a beginner, being in an environment where I feel that support just to remind me like, hey, it's okay, like just have fun and, um, you know, just create no, no pressure. And I feel that support here, so. That's so good to hear that. And I, I think that you kind of answered the question for us. Like it's, it is, uh, I think, surprising what people find in Fairfield. And I, um, uh, again, Catherine, when you uh, joined us online, do you feel like you feel that same sense of community? Because I, and I'm looking, there are people who want to join us online as well as on campus. I, I don't want to say that you have to be in Fairfield to get this good experience. Is that right? Absolutely. Um, I've been a, only an online student. Uh, and the kind of, I think the first thing that comes to mind is the one on one support. Um, you know, throughout the whole, I, I knew absolutely nothing about equipment, about the technology, about the tools. Um, I went back and forth many times with Amin, with Cody through the video editing process, figuring out what to buy, what to use, um, how to save several hundred dollars on <laughs> this camera or that. Um, there's been, I mean, deep connection and handholding through the whole process. And, you know, Amin really sets up these courses in a way where we get to know each other across the country. Um, you know, we do more intimate breakouts. We have time to connect outside of class with other um, people who are going through the course. So yeah, there's, I'm sure there's a, a community aspect in person that is unbeatable, but being online, uh, you know, I've now connected with filmmakers and creatives all over the country and I have an intimate connection with them. And when I graduate, that connection isn't gonna stop. Uh, so there's something really beautiful to be gained online too. Oh, it's so wonderful to hear that. And I, I want to ask some questions about the classes. We have some people asking about them. Um, Jordan, Catherine, uh, maybe Amin, do you want to, is there a, a favorite class or an aspect that you want to tell people about if they're wondering, you know, how, I, I know, first we should start off, Amin, by explaining that we're on the block system, because that's really important and plays into all of this. Can you explain what that is and how it applies in your program? Sure. So, uh, whether you're studying on campus or online, it's slightly different the way, the way it operates. If you're studying on campus, we're on the block system, which is one class at a time. And each class lasts about three and a half weeks on campus, I'm speaking. And you just take that one class. That's all you have to focus on. You just take one class. And then the next month, you take another class. Next month, you take another class. And uh, on campus, classes are from 10 to noon, one to three, pretty much. And you're in class, in person, five days a week. So you really get that full immersion into whatever subject you're studying. If you're doing online, we're on a slightly more expanded uh, system, which includes two classes at the same time. So uh, you could be taking, let's say, cinematography and video editing. That's my favorite combo speaking about favorite classes we we set it up in a way that if you're taking cinematography and video editing online you can take the classes simultaneously at the same time i teach cinematography and uh my colleague cody teaches the video editing and we set it up so that you can do one project where you get graded on the uh, cinematography aspect for my class and you get graded on the video editing in Cody's class and both Catherine and uh, Jordan went through through that process and hopefully it was nice and uh, comfortable. So the, the reason there's this ability to go from online to on campus is we usually recommend that you do a semester online or and then switch every if you want, you can switch every semester basically between online and on campus. Uh, but technically, you could potentially switch every two months because the duration of an online class is about two months and the duration of an on-campus class is one month. So, and they, they work, they're kind of like uh, 
the end of a two month class coincides with the end of the second block from uh, on campus. And it's the same teachers teaching the classes. So you really get this kind of integrated uh, system where whether you're online or on campus will work with you the same way. And, you know, we just love to, to see students come in with ideas and not much experience and will help you with it. I'll say one more thing is that a program is, you know, when we're really setting up the program as faculty, we're, we're thinking about what's current, what's 2022, maybe even what's 2023. And we all are involved, all the faculty are involved in making films, uh, doing music, doing digital arts. So we try to train you as a generalist. We don't want to put you in, into a narrow category, let's say just film and just set filmmaking. We want to kind of give you a broad range. So there's cinematic arts and filmmaking, cinematography, editing, screenwriting, art of story, all of these different things. But then we also give you a little bit of digital music and sound arts so that we have podcasting classes, we have you know, field recording classes coming up, digital music, uh, mixing, mastering, sound design. And then we have the digital arts, which is like the Photoshop, your Adobe Illustrator, a little bit of animation, a little bit of photography. So we try to get you through the program. And when you graduate, you have not just one skill set, but the ability to kind of grab a camera and take a photo one day, but then record a video another day for another for a client. Or, you know, you have a microphone, you could do a podcast, but you can record songs with it. So just trying to give you a sense for being a creative person, really. And I'll speak about alumni in a little bit, but I wanted to hear from the, the students as well, or Evan, on this, up, this topic. So Evan, um, question for you, because you're, do you deal them with the library and how people get equipment? I think that question has come up again. If you want to maybe tell us what you think is the most exciting about what you see students doing, um, and just, again, your favorite things about it as far as the options at MIU. That's a great question. Um, what excites me most is just that, that flexibility because the environment is changing so much. And that's kind of what we've been saying. And having all these skill sets is super essential. Uh, other film schools are hyper focused on like um, the industry or a certain one skill set. You know, like you might go two years and learn to be grip electric and do wires on a film uh, in somewhere in Hollywood or a TV show. But what we are really aiming towards is your own creative process. It's about knowing yourself and what you want from it. Um, I've worked at a number of film schools. I was at the Beijing Film Academy before this. We were doing technology. It was very industry driven and I was working on some very big films and it was, it was draining. You know, it took a lot out of me because I wasn't really being a creative person in that process. Um, so I think what number one we focus on is, is that creativity. And that's why I got my uh, master's of fine arts and screenwriting at the David Lynch program at this school, because they really wanted to look at what I was doing creatively and nurture that. And that's exactly what we want to do for everyone. So make it as easy as possible. Uh, meditate, uh, take some fun classes, learn about yourself, experiment. And then when you come to do the equipment, when you come to me, it's super simple because all the equipment that's available you're going to understand and it's not going to be an impedance to what you want to create it's going to be working with you to create exactly what you have in your mind i see catherine behind the scenes going like this so catherine we whatever is crossing your smiling face right now we would love to hear what you're <laughs> thinking yeah i would love to chime in you know i i just know what evan is saying is so deeply true i i came in with some clear uh, threats of what I wanted to create, um, but didn't have the know-how and, and the tools to do that. So each class that's been project-based has given me the opportunity to follow the threads that are most important to me and helped me to figure out the best way to facilitate what was deep inside and bring it to the outside in, in a creative way. I think my favorite class has been Art of Story, which 
you know, similar to how meditation is giving us access to that deep well within the most primary or fundamental uh, space within, art of story is kind of like the fundamental course, I think, that MIU offers, giving this template for how to create anything that you want to create, how to take what's inside and bring it outside in a way that will connect with another being. Um, so I've taken the knowledge from that course and been able to apply it to cinematography, to my doc film. Um, I know how story works and now I can use this to create anything that I can imagine. Thank you. Jordan, what are you up to project-wise or, or creatively? What, what's exciting you about this program? Um, well, I would say connecting all the pieces from each course because I've used my knowledge of cinematography and video editing um, and combined that with the podcasting course, just getting my podcast started. But since I actually took those courses in cinematography and video editing, it's allowed me to bring in the element of making it a video based podcast, um, which now also combined with the social media marketing, I'm able to see how I can use that to actually make content with those videos and share them out on platforms like Instagram and YouTube um, to actually promote that. So that's something that I'm currently doing. And um, same thing, I just came in with this idea. I, I wanna be a content creator <laughs> in this new world of space where everything is online. Um, and I just felt like this program was the best way to just take those skills. And um, like the best part about it is just how you're given that space to create. It's not you're given the technical aspects to learn those skills, but it's not just like memorize these things. You're actually learning how to apply it. So that way, when I want to work towards these projects, um, the skills are already there. They're put into place. So That's great. And I mean, you're an instructor and I know um, a lot of people and, and we have several online are probably wondering two things. One, can I actually make a living at this? And, and I can say yes. I know lots of people who do. But I mean, you also have this background and understanding of transcendental meditation. So we know there are other colleges, there are other programs. But do you think somebody that attends MIU might actually have an advantage when they do get out and start competing for jobs with other people based on what they're getting from an MIU education? I can speak about you know, people who have already graduated. We, we keep close connections with these people. And you know, the world is big and wide and there's so many different opportunities. I think the, the, the one common thread that I've noticed with, with the students, it's not necessarily that they graduate and get a job within one year, but they are immediately, they stay connected to their creativity. They graduate and they still make stuff. They still keep creating content. They're still in that flow of life. Because really, ultimately, you know, to succeed at a job, you've got to really be in your flow of life. We, we call this Dharma, this word Dharma. You got to be in your uh, attuned to your own essence, to your own life. And when you do work that comes from a deep sense of joy and purpose and satisfaction, and you, you can feel it within you, then the world is your oyster because people will be attracted to you and would want to collaborate with you, would want to work with you. Every single alumni that I talk to uh, has either a stable job now or they take multiple clients and they do, you know, one day they're like filming with a musician friend collaborating on something. And then another day they're doing a video for a client. Another day they're helping somebody create a podcast. So, and then we have people that have steady jobs just doing video editing and, and cinematography, but also keep up their own practice of their own creative work, which is 
in some ways, in my opinion, as important as getting, you know, that job that pays you things. It's, it's very important to get the job and to get the money and to live comfortable life. But it's also very important to keep staying creative and keep getting connected to that internal spring of creativity, the internal, you know, wealth of creativity, because ultimately it's about growing in this life. It's about growing and understanding how this world and this whole life works. Yes, the financial side is extremely important, but, you know, my growth and my inner spirituality is very important as well. And these two should work hand in hand. And I think that if, if we're speaking about an advantage, I don't know if it's a financial advantage per se, but it's an advantage in having a currency and in inner life, you know, uh, available to students. I, and in my opinion, I think if you have that emotional intelligence piece, that knowledge of self that, uh, that comes with the practice of TM, the, the ability to, you know, take that 20 minutes and then come back to this possibly, you know, high energy, most likely in this business job where you're dealing with different personalities and, you know, time frames and you have deadlines and you have this need to be creative. Um, in my opinion, I think, as me mentioned too, people rehire the people that they enjoyed working with. And um, I, I have some folks that, you know, I worked with 20 years ago that will now call me and say, hey, we, we have a project. Do you want to come work on it? Um, whereas, you know, 20 years ago, I was sending resumes and auditioning. So no, nothing in my opinion, um, very few things in this business happen immediately overnight. But I, I do think that TM piece is something that MIU offers. And, and I know, Evan, we'll get back to you too, because I know you've seen other programs and how they work, but I do want to mention the Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences because we mentioned it at the beginning and uh, we want to let folks know how that works. So, uh, I mean, we, this is a, we call it the boss at MIU, but you do the required courses for a Bachelor of Applied Arts and Sciences, and then you will add that art of story class that we talked about, then 28 additional credits from the Cinematic Arts and New Media Department. And we listed a few of them there. Um, again, if you're going the filmmaking and cinematography way, or you're going uh, digital arts or studio photography, you can see the Media Lab courses. Um, I mean, I know we were one of our students was going to join us, but she's working today. Um, can you speak a little bit to the folks that are thinking of maybe either transferring in or, or doing that specialization versus the full Canem degree? Absolutely. So yes, I, I often say to students, if they are transferring some, some, something around 75 plus credits, then they should potentially consider the uh, specialization as a faster way to go through it. We have a student, Kaylee Rose, which we say hello to. <laughs> she is, uh, she started out as an online cinematic arts and new media student. And then she had all this transfer credit that was taking a while to transfer. And then the minute it transferred, she said, can I graduate sooner? And I said, yeah, well, let's give you a specialization in applied, you know, the, the BA is applied arts and sciences, but the specialization is in the cinematic arts and new media. And uh, she's working on a documentary series on the music industry. And right, right now, as we speak, she's in Las Vegas filming at Hollywood Planet with some musicians there. And one thing that we did is that because she started out as a cinematic arts and new media student, her senior project, instead of being put together in a senior project class that's with the applied arts and science students, because her project is a film project, she is in the senior project class for the cinematic arts and new media. So she's getting real feedback from us, from our department, you know, from the experts, and uh, she's making it happen. So. Yes, if you have like 75 plus transfer credits, you can still do the BA in applied art, in cinematic arts and new media, but there's this option, which it's a little bit faster and you still get some good, you still get some good knowledge. It's just with the BA, it's deeper, you know, uh, you really can get to go deeper into something. I, I recommend if somebody has a lot of transfer credits and wants to do the specialization, my biggest recommendation is 
come with some kind of a project that you have in mind, because that will help you decide which classes to take. And it will give you that depth. If you take a certain sequence of classes, it will give you depth, depth, the depth. And I'm more than always more than happy to speak to students or different people with their different situations and uh, be as flexible as we can and accommodating as we can. Yeah. And we'll make sure you have uh, means contact information. Admissions uh, can always answer your questions. And I know, Catherine, you had kind of a, a background before you came in. So you transferred. Did you transfer in some credits? How did that work out for you? I did transfer in credits. I mean, helped me navigate that whole process. Uh, I started off with a degree in, in vocal performance 10 years ago. Um, I think a little bit, maybe one or two classes uh, connected to this degree. Um, but I began with the, the BA and I just took an insane amount of electives in this department before finally saying like, all right, let's look at this <laughs> and uh, just switched, switched degrees altogether from there. Yeah. This has flown by. I, I want to make sure that we get to the questions that are coming in. And again, if we didn't get to your question, we will, uh, we will keep the Q&A and we will get back to you. Um, we'll make sure that you have uh, means contact information. Um, we, we can send you a follow up email with that. Um, and we also will make sure that you have the admissions information. Evan, this is kind of a, a question um, that I'm putting you on the spot, but because we know that you've been in different places in this industry, if there's somebody on the webinar, and I think it happens quite often, where people are like, okay, will my life really be different? Is this, why am I you versus going somewhere else? Do you, do you have anything to say to people who are maybe wondering why am I you? So yeah, that's a fun question. I mean, will my life be different? I think it's up to you in the end. Um, we, we can give you, you know, the soil and the tools, but you have to grow the crop, so to speak. Um, but yes, I think a lot of people, I think we have two kinds of people actually. Some people meditate before they come here. Some of them work in the industry and in, in, uh, this one over here, they work in the industry and they got burnt out. And the people over here who meditate don't get burnt out, but they're looking to get more technical. And that's where we kind of converge. This is like a really interesting place. Um, in other film schools, uh, you know, you're kind of asking about, there's a lot of focus on academic study um, film theory, which a lot of students who want to be creative don't like. It's, it's a hard pill to swallow. And we're not completely absent of academics, but we definitely do not focus on it. There's no written thesis program at this film school. Um, and what we do is focus on the meditation and the project based, which is kind of repetitive. We've said this, but it's really important to understand that like when you come here, you're making your own thing. What you do is what you want and it's what you get out of it. And if you meditate before you get it, it's cool. It's, it's a great practice. It's great to be in a, a group of people who are also meditating because everyone kind of has, the same, it's like speaking the same language, um, even the same creative language. Uh, it's just easier. But if you don't meditate and you're kind of like, well, what is this school? Is it gonna be strange? Is it gonna be something that I, you know, I'm not gonna feel comfortable with? Uh, don't worry, we get a lot of these kinds of people and they're not forced to meditate, but when they do, they find that burnout disappears, that they, they're giving themselves the time, the space, the energy to think about what they're thinking about or to feel what they're feeling. Um, and then that we call that creative well uh, opens up because when you're no longer thinking about, you know, the tasks that you have to accomplish and you're feeling what you want to say and what you want to do, uh, you surprise yourself every moment with the inspiration that comes. And that's something you're not going to get at another film school. If that sounds like something that's uh, interesting to you, then I definitely suggest MIU. Uh, I think that's such a great uh, 
way to put it all into place. And uh, again, we all practice TM, you'll learn more about it. There are over 600 studies that talk about how uh, transcendental meditation can help you in regard to helping to reduce stress, helping you to be more creative. Uh, here's that admissions email, admissions at miu.edu. Our next entry is in August, but as you can probably imagine, um, just making sure that you get your place, you will probably want to apply now. Federal student aid is available. This is an accredited program. If you did want to go on and get a master's degree somewhere, even a PhD, you could do that. If you're wondering more about financial aid, there's a whole webinar on it. You can go to our miu.edu webinars page and just find the financial aid uh, webinar and you can watch that. Our tall is the leader of that. And you can email financial aid with specific questions at finaid at miu.edu. A couple of other replays you can go through. There's one about the MIU student experience. There's one about Fairfield. So if you rather want to come to campus, you can look at the Fairfield one um, online, you know, look through those webinars. But if you have more questions, there's where the webinar replay button is, where that red arrow is. We have another way for you to visit and you can talk more with Amin because I know you would love probably uh, maybe more time with him, but you can go to miu.edu slash visit or the best way to get to hang out with Amin more is just have him be your instructor. So join us. Uh, the live chatters will be available anytime. If you come up with a question later, uh, just go to miu.edu and the chatters are there. Again, I mentioned that next entry there's the apply button. But I mean, I know uh, as we come to a close here and, and we would love just uh, to spend all day with you, but we're out of time. Is there anything you'd like to say? I know you've got a lot of folks here just wondering about the program. Um, I wanna just turn it over to you for a moment. Yeah, I think, you know, sort of like to wrap things up. If you're looking for a place where, you know, you can grow from within and you can be in part of a community of people, as you can see here, you know, people that want to grow from within and want to learn things and want to uh, explore that creative aspects of themselves, then we're right here. We're right here for you. We're available. Uh, there's good people here and there's knowledgeable people and Consciousness-based education ultimately means that we value your consciousness. And we value who you are as a person before anything else. And, and then we teach you the skills so that you can succeed in this world. And uh, this is who we are. And we'd love to have you. We'd love to connect with you and just have fun and share some good times together. And this has been a wonderful time. Uh, we're so glad that you spent time with us. Again, check us out at miu.edu. And if you'd like to apply, that will get you into our system. It's not an absolute commitment. You can actually defer to spring if you wanted to, or you know, if you decide MIU is not a perfect fit for you right now, we understand. But if you apply, we can help to see maybe if your transfer credits, how that might work, or if you're brand new to college, We'd love to have you join us. So thanks again for joining us today. And uh, on behalf of everybody and the Cinematic Arts and New Media program, we'll see you next time. MIU is a nonprofit university accredited by the Higher Learning Commission.